On our 2021 trip to Florence, Alabama, we discovered a lot we didn't know about this small southern town. World-renowned recording studios, movie star restaurants, and you can see all of that and more in our previous Florence videos. But this video is completely dedicated to food. At the Florence Marriott, there's an unexpected 20-story tower. Level T. Ooh, Lord. Lord Jesus, I would like to ask right now that you help the elevator not get stuck before we get to level T. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> No windows in this. You're going to the tea. The tea. Oh god. <laughs> Everybody hold on. Oh my gosh. It shoots up fast. Oh. Oh. Still going. Oh. Oh god. It looked like a mini space needle, but it was actually a revolving restaurant. When we came to Florence, I certainly didn't expect to be wined and dined the way we were at the 360 Grill. The chef sent out a special pre-appetizer bite, and then we had the greatest culinary masterpiece I've ever seen. Pork belly topped with cotton candy, melted by a delicious au jus. The menu offers several more high-end main course options. We both opted for a classic steak. Then it was time for something sweet. The chef asked if he could make this selection, and of course we agreed. We just didn't realize that his selection would be every dessert on the menu. Right yep. We are back at the Gun Runner from the 360 Grill at the Marriott. Oh, what an amazing dinner. We got there, we kind of changed our reservation. We were supposed to go at 6.30 and well, we got there at 5.45. Mm -hmm. And we just got done, just got done and got back here. Like but the drive was like seven minutes. Seven minutes, so it is now 8.23. I mean, it was a great experience. I mean, woo, woo, woo. Beautiful views, incredible food. Yes, and very nice staff. Oh, really great. Were you excited about that appetizer that I picked or did were you were you a little question? I was a little like it's a little questionable to me. It was a pork belly over a sweet potato. I don't like sweet potatoes. And then it had um, a ball of cotton candy on top of that. It was and, like a whole experience. And then they poured that demi glaze that fa Foie gras. Foie gras. Demi glaze on top of that, which disintegrated that cotton candy. It was so okay. good. Well, really and truly, we, we shared that. Yeah. And I really could have been done. I really yeah, could have. That and a dessert for me would have been. So, but we were very excited. But then we so didn't. We, we got our meals. I got the Delmonico with grilled asparagus and truffle fries. And I had the filet with the same sides. And then the chef, wonderful Chef Dean, who was so nice and actually went to the same <laughs> junior college as I did the same year. So we were like Small there world. together and crazy, crazy. Um, and he's like, I wish I would have known you guys were coming. Um, he would have planned our meal, which you guys know that we love when they do that. And he was like, let me just, let me get you a special dessert. So I thought he was gonna like, you know, make a special dessert, but instead he brought out every dessert on the menu, <laughs> which was insane. So you had a chocolate flower, flourless chocolate cake or chocolate torte, chef's kiss, beautiful, wonderful. Then there was a panna cotta, which was so beautiful oh, was and so, beautiful. so delicious. Yeah. And there was like little blackberries in there, like a little surprise and it just made it so good. And then there was a creme brulee. If you're a creme brulee lover, it was 
divine and then beignets, beignets and they serve them in a little bag and they were like little beignet hush puppies because they're like really crispy on the outside they're so good and then they gave you a raspberry sauce and a chocolate sauce it was all so delicious yeah everything and again the view you had the view it was incredible so thank you randa and the yes Tourism Bureau here for at Florence hooking us up because that was such an incredible experience. Yes, so just throw that out there again. Thank you so much, Randa, at the Florence Visitor Center for setting up all these amazing places that we've been able to visit. And um, of course, tonight's dinner was tremendous. And our trip was supposed to end here. We were supposed to be making the drive back to Crestview tomorrow, but no. It's not over. It's, we're staying an extra day, ladies like, and gentlemen. Yes, we're staying an, another day. So we have more amazing things to feature tomorrow. Yes. Two more delicious restaurants oh to visit tomorrow. I don't even want to eat right now. And then tomorrow we're going to the Ivy Green, which is Helen, Helen Keller's Keller. birthplace. Just, we're so excited. And another night in this divine hotel. Yes. If Jennifer could move in here, she would. I would. She would move in here, yeah. Two seconds, I'd be here. If you're in Florence looking for something more low key, the Pie Factory could be the perfect pick. Their sweet heat style wings are insanely delicious. And like their name suggests, they have quite the selection of pizzas. We simply couldn't decide, so we went for a half and half with the Muscle Shoal Sound and Hawaiian Luau. The Hawaiian, while delicious, was fairly standard, but the Muscle Shoals sound was as unique as this gem of a town itself. Tomato sauce topped with a double layer of pepperoni, hot sauce, and mozzarella cheese. We've never had anything quite like it. Even though the Pie Factory isn't rotating 20 stories above Florence, the food and chill atmosphere is enough to keep us coming back again and again. It's a great local hangout that offers a more approachable cuisine. If you've never been to Florence, Alabama, go. There is so much to do as a tourist. You can visit the recording studios, Helen Keller's birthplace, and tons of yummy restaurants. Not to mention the Gunrunner Hotel is stunning enough to be the destination in itself. Oh, hi, honey. Oh my gosh, you are, oh my. What's his name? His name's True. True. There you go, buddy. She's gonna get hit by a car. Hit by a car. <laughs> What did you say? We have a Chick-fil-A in there. Oh. School Commons. I told the people that it says no smoking here, but um, you're breaking the rules. You're smoking hot. <laughs> I tried to wait till you're done at least. That's really great. Thank you to the Shoals for sponsoring our trip. We had a blast. It's very impressive. <laughs>